Hello fellow Kaiju fans. Uh, I haven't done a review in probably two months by now. Um, well, I'm not sure how many I'm going to do left. Um, because really, I mean, I don't know, YouTube's getting really bad. It's hard to, uh, I mean, what's the point of uploading a video if you only get ten views or something? You know, and uh, it's just the like the the idiots in YouTube, uh, which is Google that owns them, um, change the tags so now you can't see the tags. I know people already know that, but it's just it's, it's very bizarre. I don't know why they they did that. Um, and it, it, I don't know, they're kind of spying on people too. I get weird ads on sites, just weird ads. You know, you look up a piece of gum, you know, a certain type of gum that they don't usually sell at stores, and uh, there it is on another site. It's, it's bizarre, very creepy. So that's another reason why I probably won't be using. YouTube too much, um, but um, anyways, let's get right into this. Here is uh, I got this. This is pretty much my Christmas gift. Um, this is um, the very first mold of Iron Rocks from Ultra Seven. So yes, hang on. I got, uh, I got the bag and card. This was mint in bag and card. Um, it's got the uh, the one on it. I think the one means it's the first uh, reissue. Or sorry, first issue, like first off the factory line. I think. I've heard people say it's it's just oh it's the first. Uh, paint job, but I've seen other numbers. So, Anyways, let's get on to this. Um, yeah, this is a very nice figure. I've always had interest in tanks and ships and airplanes. Um, but let's take a look at this. <laughs> so big, huh? So, yeah, this was made in. Where is it? 2005. Can you believe it? This is an eight-year-old, eight-year-old figure. Just a few more years, and it'll be a decade old. <laughs> uh, 1967. Japan. Marmot made this, and uh, it's a big figure. I don't usually have problems with the lighting, but it's. I think it's the red and black on it, but um, as you can see, there um, it's got um, it's got four points of articulation actually. Uh, the gun turrets can go around. So that one can move like that. This one up here can move. It's probably the easiest one to move. Uh, this one can move, and this one. So yeah, it's, um, that's the articulation. Uh, the top on here can come off. I'm not going to take it off. So that comes off, and this bottom here... Oh, I have this way too. Sorry about that. The bottom here can come off. Uh, this actually can float too, which is pretty cool. So if I ever get around, get around to uh, making some stop motion, which I'm considering soon, uh, found some cheap programs. So maybe we'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but um, it does flood inside here, so uh, I'd have maybe I had tape duct tape it. 
put it in there real quick and pull a string on it. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, no, my cat's here. I know. Anyways, look out, Melvin. I'm gonna trip on you. So anyways, it's got a really nice paint job, though. As you can tell, it's got a gold and black spray on the tops of the guns and the turrets and the uh, gun barrels. It's got a nice gold and uh, black spray on here. Now there's two paint variants of this. There's this one, the first one. Second, um, which is actually, I've noticed, which is actually a bit harder to find. Uh, it's a, just full black with uh, sprays of blue and kind of a magenta on certain areas. I like that one more. Uh, but Stop. Stop that. Stop that. Anyways, cat's playful right now. Um, and some gold up there. And uh, so yeah, that's the second paint job. Um, but just look at the detail. You got all these little gun turrets. And this is pretty accurate. This is pretty much what Iron Rocks look like. I've seen the episode. I bought the full series. And. Uh, it was a really good episode, but the, and um, so yeah, it's kind of black on the sides here. So that's Iron Rocks. Not gonna go. Oh, there's one other thing about the figure. The only pr problem I have with it is it's well. Take a look at that. As you can tell, well, just look at it. It's kind of slanted. The mold was deformed when it came out. Instead of being straight, it's kind of slanted until that gun turret. But uh, on the sides, it looks fine. But uh, so yeah, it's a bit deformed. But yeah, if you really think about it, it kind of adds to the whole you know conglomeration of ships, battleships. So you could say it's sort of adds to the charm of the figure I guess but uh, let's size him up with some figures here that's what you all usually want to see well besides the figure uh, here is a uh, 68 Godzilla and surprisingly I really like the scaling it goes with because I mean this really looks pretty realistic I mean the ships were the ship was in the episode was really big I mean um, I'm not complaining about the size. I mean, it's a good size thing. So, um, let's see how much time do I? Okay. Uh, here's our Ultraman Cosmos. Too bad it doesn't have some chains that you could like put on it, have it wrap around them. In the episode, it uh, shoots these chain cups. On the Ultra 7, he's wrestling with it. So, yeah, what are you doing, Melvin? What? <laughs> oh, Melvin? <laughs> oh, no. Whenever I'm in a certain area, he, he just loves to get into that. Yeah, he's under there. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Anyways. Uh, that's definitely cute, isn't it? Um... over here. No, 
I like to size up monsters with you, Tom, here. There's you, Tom. Um, yeah, you get the you get the size. I'm gonna go into it. Oh, man, well, let me size it with Dally here. I actually haven't sized it with this. See how the this is the X plus Dally Marmot. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of interesting size comparison there. Okay. Anyways. Uh, and finally, the his history. Um, pretty much, these aliens in this kind of weird starfish saucer. They control all these conglomeration of ships, uh, which is called Iron Rocks, and uh, attacks this little shipping village. <sighs> and. Uh, and it, uh, and then Ultra 7 shows up in Ultra Garrison, and, uh, they fight it, and then it, um, it's about to explode, and, uh, so, yeah, I think he pushes it back, and then he shoots his ray at it, and it goes, <laughs> and blows it up. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. At its powers, it just shoots, I guess, cannonballs? Artillery? And uh, uses its chains to chain Ultra Seven up. I didn't really, do, it didn't really do much. It's um, little eye thing here lit up in the episode. Should have had like a weird goofy space beam come out of it or something. And in the end, uh, I'm gonna give this figure definitely a five out of five. Uh, it's, it's super rare. It's hard to. Go hard to come by actually and uh, I had trouble getting it I almost didn't get it but um, I got it and I'm keeping it so I uh, hope you enjoyed the review and uh, if you ever see an iron rocks on uh, eBay if it's really cheap you know it's probably price range is gonna probably be anywhere from seventy to maybe could be a hundred and fifty maybe I don't know, but uh it's a really cool figure, and if you ever see it, get it and uh have a wonderful day and goodbye.